Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up the Straton runtime for Raspberry. We will download the runtime directly from our website, from straton-plc.com, in the downloads section. The runtime as well as Straton products can be found here in the product section, and you have here T5 Linux Raspberry Pi. You have some details about what is supported by the runtime and a download button. Once the file is downloaded on your desktop, on your PC, it looks like that. You have a folder inside a runtime folder and you have a lot of other files. The Straton runtime, which what we will use for the moment, is the T5Py 9.4 build one. You have to put it on your Raspberry. So this is explained in the tutorial also, in the download section, here you have documentations, user guides, runtime, and here user guide Raspberry runtime to enable the communication with the Raspberry and things like that. So you put the file on your Raspberry, Raspberry using FileZilla or using uh, directly putting the file on your SD card. and. Once since on your Raspberry, you can do a listing. So you connect to the Raspberry using QTTY, for example, in SSH. You do a listing, ls, and you can see the runtime file. Here I'm using a beta version of the 10.0, but this is the same principle. At first, it's displayed in blank. It means that this is not executable. So first, we have to make it executable. You do, we do a sudo chmod plus x and the name of the runtime so t5 and then we press the tab key so it automatically fills the name of the runtime i press enter i do a listing again and now i can see that the file is in green meaning that it can be executed on the raspberry so that's it the runtime is ready to be launched if you know that you will use an 850 server application on the runtime so this is something we can we will see in other tutorials. You have also to think to create a custom folder. So sudo mkdir to make a directory and custom with c in capital letter. ls and now we can see we have the custom folder and the runtime file. How to start the runtime? You always have to think to be in super user mode. sudo dot slash t5 we press the tab key so it fills the runtime name. We press enter and that's it. The runtime has been launched. You can see the different protocols which are supported by run the runtime. We are in demo version, but this is not a problem for this demo. So how to check that everything is working as expected? We will use the demo applications installed with Straton Editor. So we open Straton Editor and here in the demo projects we have demo. It will open the demo project list with a lot of already available projects. We have, for example, the sample project, a coffee machine project, an 850 server application, and things like that. The project which is displayed in bold is the current active project. So it means that when you will compile, for example, the application, it will compile this application in bold. If you want to change this, you can do a right click on the project, set a startup project, or you can choose it also from this list box. For example, coffee machine as startup and samples as startup. If you open FBD1, it's an FBD program uh, which is only making a, a variable blinking, but it's enough to do some tests. So then to download it to the runtime, we go here in the communication settings at the bottom or from tools communication settings, sorry, we will access it from here, it's easier, we double, just double click here, we press the three dots here to choose an IP address and port of the runtime, by default on Linux runtimes the port opened by the, on Linux, uh, yes, for Linux runtimes the port is 1100, so this is OK, we set this IP address, we click on OK, we compile the application using the build startup project button. It says that no errors are detected. We go online using the online button. 
It asks, do you want to download the application now? I say yes. We can see that the application has been downloaded and now it is in run mode. And the output here is blinking. We can change the period for the blink. We can force variables using the spacebar, for example. We click on a variable and we use the spacebar. And then it makes the, the be out variable blinking faster. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.